Hello, parents, caregivers, and child welfare professionals. If you are watching this video, you are about to learn about multidisciplinary team staffings, also known as MDTs. Just to give you a little background, on October 1st, 2021, the Florida Legislature passed Senate Bill 80 with the goal in mind of enhancing parenting partnerships between parents, caregivers, and child welfare professionals. With this focus, the legislator developed these MDTs to enhance better engagement with the families and a shared commitment and accountability from the family and their circle of support. Therefore, it is now the law that no change to a child's placement or educational setting can be made without a pre-convened MDT staffing and a 14-day transition plan unless under emergency circumstances. Here is what you need to know about MDTs. Let's begin with what is an MDT staffing? An MDT staffing is a gathering with a group of individuals that are important in the child's life to work together to make important life decisions based in the best interest of the child. MDTs are required whenever there is a need for a change in a child's custody, placement, emergency change of placement, or educational change. Now, you may be wondering, who is invited to an MDT staffing? There are several mandatory invitees to MDTs, such as the child, biological family, and or individuals important to the child, the current caregiver, the caseworker, or DCF if directly involved. Depending on the child, there are some other optional people that can be invited to an MDT, such as the guardian ad litem, school representative, therapist, CMS, or other community providers. Now let's talk about when does an MDT occur? There are two different types of MDTs. The first is a planned MDT. This is convened before a planned or requested placement change. If a consensus is reached about the change, a transition plan of a minimum of 14 days is then developed. The second type of MDT is an emergency MDT. If a child is moved due to imminent risk of health or safety, an MDT must be convened within 72 hours after the immediate move to review the placement and develop a transition plan. Lastly, how does an MDT work? Whenever a foster caregiver requests a placement change, they must provide a minimum of three weeks notice to the placement team. Whenever a relative, non-relative, or fictive kin caregiver requests a placement change, they must provide a minimum of three weeks notice to the kinship support team. Our placement, relicensing, and kinship support teams will then attempt to stabilize the home while also engaging kinship navigation and placement searches to identify a new home. The MDT unit will convene an MDT as soon as possible. Reasonable notice of the MDT schedule will be given, but a staffing cannot be delayed based on availability. MDTs will be scheduled virtually Monday through Friday. Any move from one caregiver to another is considered a transition, and we need to minimize transitions whenever possible and ensure that all transitions are planned, supported, and smooth. Our goal is to keep siblings together whenever possible. If siblings need to be separated, the planning for frequent visits will be discussed and outlined. The MDT staffing reports will then be filed with the court by Children's Legal Services. At the staffing, if there is consensus from those who attended that the move is supported, then there is no elevation needed. However, if there is not consensus for the placement move, there is an elevation process and the concerns are elevated to DCF for feedback and they will file their position with the court. There are times when a move placement may be needed to be delayed to wait for a decision from the court. The caregiver will then be asked to provide current information regarding the care of the child and help develop the transition plan to minimize trauma. Lastly, a decision will be made as to if a school move is needed, along with a discussion about siblings with a focus on how to keep them together and partnership plans may be reviewed. At Heartland for Children, we greatly appreciate the dedication of our parents, caregivers, and child welfare professionals to the safety and well-being of our children in Polk, Highlands, and Hardy counties. If you have any questions, please contact our placements department at 863-519-8900, extension 273 or 294.